All right, so number five, we're doing inverse cosine. Cosine is like one of the nice ones because the restrictions keep us without having to make any adjustments. Cosine inverse of negative one. Um, we're restricted between zero and pi. <clears throat> so if I go to my unit circle, I'm looking for negative one in the x coordinate. Cosine corresponds to the x coordinate. So over here we get a negative one. So pi and 180 are our measurements and we don't have to adjust them at all. So in radians is just pi and in degrees it is 180. All right, secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So it is also looking for the x value. Secant, inverse secant of negative one. Okay, these are the same thing. It's the same exact spot. There's nothing that has changed. Um, let me be careful, I'm sorry. That is a lot. Um, the restrictions for secant um, down here are from 0 to power 2 and power 2 to pi. So what this one does is it cuts out from the unit circle this value because when I get power 2 it's 1 over 0 and we can't actually get that one. But over here in this case uh, this is a valid answer uh, that's part of the solution. So pi and 180 it will be the exact same I want to make sure I wasn't speaking out of turn because of that zero there the x value zero one divided by zero will be uh, a mistake and while I'm saying that <coughs> is um this is uh, one over cosine and if I was looking at the x value being zero uh, I couldn't do that uh, this would be one over zero not cosine of zero, but <clears throat> yeah, one over. We couldn't plug a zero there, so that would mess that up. Um, so that's why that one's out. But anyway, we get the same thing. We get pi and 180. It's the same position. <clears throat> 